Hello, hello, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fallout London. Now in this quest, in this quest, in this episode, uh, we are going to be progressing the quest meeting in Millwall, um, which I think we need to, if I remember correctly, we were told that uh, we should go through the Greenwich Foot Tunnel, which I'm assuming is this. Um, I don't know though, but it's right next to the river and I see a line. There's something here. There's something here, guys. So, um, anyway, Greenwich Station is the closest place. So, we're going to go from Greenwich Station. Fallout is dust that is sucked up from the ground. can protect yourself and your family 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 <laughs> okay we need to go just around the corner from here apparently can we go around this way yeah we can that's handy i'm not actually i don't want to jinx it <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. I was going to say I don't see anyone around, but uh, that could change at any moment. Oh, some council housing. You can't go inside any of the flats, though, by the looks of it. They're all boarded up. Okay. What's this say? Helping London to keep its stiff upper lip by fracking. Okay, fracking is not good. Um, but okay. Anything in here? No, nothing. Completely empty. I'm surprised considering all the flats around here. I would have thought at least one person would have used them. Actually, is there anything in this building here? So I know. It has literally just started the episode and I was like, oh, we're going here. Now we are going right off somewhere else. Okay, there's actually a chest of drawers. Um, no, not really anything though. That's fine. So we're going this way, apparently. I'm guessing this is where we're heading to, this dome. I've never actually been in the Greenwich Foot Tunnel, so I have no idea what it looks like. Hello. Who are you? Is this the Cutty Sark? Oh, it's Jack Tars. Oh, yes, it is the Cutty Sark. Don't know who the Jack Tars are, but they don't look friendly. And I definitely think I'm under level to face them. Actually, you know what? Let me discover this, and then I'm going to go back to Thameshaven. We need to be hidden. Danger. Fuck. Shitting hell. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's run, guys. Let's run. Um, let's go back to Thameshaven, go to that weapons dealer, and see if we can get a decent gun from him. I mean, not well, maybe gun, actually. I was thinking more, you know, a uh, handheld weapon. Where is here it is, Thameshaven. Let's see what we can get because I feel like we can do better than this machete. Okay, and now we are here. Look at um, I believe stuff. it was just down this Isn't way. Can you get up the fucking way? Thank you. Oh, church, you're not you two. <laughs> um here he is. What have you got? A fresh dry land. What are you buying? <clears throat> right. Like we some have weapons, a please. Supply. But take a look and see if anything takes your fancy. Right, so what melee weapons do you have? Boards, okay, that's what I actually gave him. Ooh, 26 damage. Okay, so what damage is my machete doing? It's doing 24. That's quite good, actually. Um, 26. Oh, wow, of course, it's a grenade. That <laughs> At first I was like, Jesus Christ, give me. But no. Um... Grenades, grenades, knuckles, lead pipe, machete. Uh, ornamental sword does 28. So far, this is the best one. Anything else? Rolling pin, of course not. <laughs> Service rifle, mostly guns. These are mostly guns. Tennis ball grenade, Thamesium goo. God knows what that is. 
walking cane. Okay, so the ceremonial sword it is. Ornamental sword, sorry. Um, and I can sell my machete. Okay, thank you, yes. Equip that. Brilliant, and now we are heading back. Actually, I can just fast travel from here, can't I? Um, let's sneak, because, uh, you know, there was some unfriendly people right next door to the foot tunnel. Okay, and we just go through here. I'm guessing. <laughs> so I am going to be... Oh, Brad X. Okay, I guess I'm going to be needing that. I am going to be staying well clear of Jack Tars for the time being. Because what the fuck? <laughs> that was intense. Um, I would like to try uh, exploring the Cutty Sark at some point, though. Dog food. Remember, I am addicted to dog food of all the things. Can I do any cooking before I go down? Yeah, I definitely feel like we're being prepared for a bit of a battle. So, mentally preparing myself, mentally preparing myself. Anything else? No, that's all we could make. Okay then, and off we pop. Okay. Can I, uh, actually, can I sleep? Thank God, because uh, I could really do with the health. Caution. Already I've got caution. Yeah, this is... Uh... Oh, I don't like this. Okay, whatever that was, I just heard it get killed. Which means there is something bigger hunting my enemies. Radiation, okay. Let me pop my radex. Do not enter. Well, I'm sorry, but I have places to be. Oh, I hear electricity. That might be what killed whatever it was. If it's radiation, I'm going to assume ghouls. But there's so many new enemies in this game, I honestly have no idea what could be down here. Okay, watch out for that. That person has been devoured. Let's uh, be very careful. Churchill, please stay close. I would like the backup. Oh, hello. Ah, Jesus. Oh my God. Okay, some ghouls. Just as I suspected. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Um, I see another one. Yes. Right next to me. Okay. Do I need healing? Yeah, I do actually. Um, am I about to die? I really hope not. Oh, I've leveled up. Okay. That's fantastic timing, actually. Now, what should I do? Increase my strength, which would increase my melee damage anyway. Or can I do the big leagues yet? Yes, I can. Okay, big leagues it is because that um, means I do more melee weapon damage, which is fantastic. Oh my god, this is so scary. I'm going to need some Radaway soon. Oh, fuck this. Okay, fine, let's just go. Keep swimming, keep swimming. I can't see a thing. Okay, and we're out. I'm going to need a rad away. Right away. I have no idea how long my radex is going to last for either. I feel like I might need another one soon. What the fuck is going on? I'm going to heal. <laughs> I don't like this music. What's going on? This is literally horror movie shit. I hate this. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so did I drown? It's, I heard sirens and screaming, so I'm assuming maybe that was a flashback. In which case, that is really cool. Oh, you're a big boy. There's another one over there as well, but he hasn't seen me just yet. Oh, I completely forgot I can actually loot these ghouls, can't I? Um, I've been more concerned with, you know, just not dying. Um, whatever, I can't find the other one. Ah, I'm in danger. Oh my Christ alive. Okay, um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Really, really well made because I'm absolutely shitting myself right now. Completely bricking it. Oh. I never thought I'd say this, but I can't wait for this episode to be over. And I mean this in the nicest possible way. <laughs> okay, Radex has worn off. I love you guys, but this is really scary. <laughs> okay, is this the end? Oh, thank fuck for that. Okay. Rad away. Heal. Okay. Die. Kill the babies. I have no remorse for my actions right now. <laughs> I have none. I just want to get out of here. Everything I encounter is dying. I am really happy that I got a better weapon as well. Now I'm assuming I can cook with these eggs. I'm going to find out, I guess. At the very least, I can sell them. Danger. Is that from a mitten lurk? Sounds like a mitten lurk. I can hear it scurrying. Churchill, where the fuck are you? <laughs> Maybe after that little flashback cutscene thing we had, he's just vanished? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure he'll find us eventually, though. He'll spawn at the very least. Okay, quick save. I can't believe I haven't saved yet. Oh, okay, it was just... Oh, okay, that was uh, more scary than it needed to be. Ugh. You had a gruesome death by the looks of it. Mm, so did you. That's a lot of blood. A lot of dried blood. Okay, some more mitten lurkers. Oh, Christ almighty. It's the fact I even knew they were going to do it and it still scared me. Oh, Churchill's back. That's good. Oh, what am I doing? Wrong button. Put the torch back on. Oh, hello. Okay, these are going to burst open. Oh, all of them did. So sorry, Churchill. <laughs> just killed Churchill. Well, I didn't kill him, but, you know, almost took his head off. Okay, great. Tea station? What can I make here? <gasps> I can make all kinds of tea. This is hilarious. That is so British. <laughs> now, I see a terminal. Gift services, was that? Oh, no, GFT. Oh, Greenwich Foot Tunnel, of course. Um, messages. As announced by the British Broadcasting Ministry, it is important to follow protocol in the event of nuclear war while stationed at Greenwich Foot Tunnel. It is highly likely that many in the public may take refuge in the underground tun tunnel for shelter. This must not be allowed. Why? If the tunnel collapse, uh, what? If the tunnel collapse uh, fractures due to the blast happening above the tunnel, above the tunnel will flood. Okay. The, I'm going to be honest, the grammar is terrible. If the call is ever made, lock and seal the doors as soon as possible. Right, well that didn't happen, did it? Because um, I heard people in the tunnel that I just came through and it clearly flooded, which I guess is why there was flooded in the first place, because the Thames broke in, which is what we saw. End of message. Okay, well, someone didn't do their job. Now I think about it, those corpses, I wonder if um, people broke in and then killed them for not letting them in. I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? 
Okay. GFT services take great pride in the history of this site. Site is spelt wrong. After the Blitz of 1940, this tunnel required repairs after receiving two devastating blows to the outer cast. We all know later, later renovations have introduced more stress on the structure between where it was hit. If we spring any kind of leak, please immediately, that's also spelled wrong, follow protocol 15A to ensure the site, again spelled wrong, is locked down and a message. I'm not even an English teacher in this <laughs> this tab has really pissed me off. But the uh, the law is quite helpful. I do love a bit of law. Okay, and that's everything on there. Anything else to loot? I was trying to jump around Churchill then. More eggs. Let's get these over and done with. Kill the babies. <laughs> I will say I'm pleased I didn't find any adult mitten lurks down here. I'm sure they'll come back later though. But I won't be here so that's fine. Okay, seems like that was pretty much it in here. Cool. Okay, and we've discovered the North Foot Tunnel. Nothing in the post box. Um, now where are we going? Okay, we're going there. Not too far. Not too far. I don't quite trust this part of London, though. As you can probably... Oh, there's something on the bench. Probably tell. <gasps> oh, it's a holotape. Regret and reminiscence. Private Sutton here from the 2nd London Infantry recording date October 23rd year 2077 we were stationed at the Tower of London when it happened I can see the mushroom clouds from here the screams chaos yeah. mortifying mum dad I'm sorry I don't read it Jesus Oh my god. Don't you think that this recording is likely to fade away just like that? Leaving behind no more than a memory in the Fuck's sake. <sighs> well that was a very emotional message, but um really, this is how my <laughs> my traversal north of the river starts. Just completely blown to pieces and ambushed by giant. Giant ladybirds. You couldn't write it. I've only got four stim packs. I'm really hoping there's somewhere that I could. No, I really need a stim pack. Oh, fuck's sake. I was really hoping there'd be somewhere I could sleep and save a stim pack, but I saw I was under attack by fucking dogs. So maybe not. Good thing I got a new weapon. I'm going to say that a few times this episode, I think. Because it's definitely true. I really need some more stim packs. I've only got three left. Good thing I've got quite a bit of food. What's this? Beef eater burger. Okay, can have a look inside here. Detected. What by? I'm hidden again now. Okay. There's a dead person. And I see a terminal as well. I don't see anything actually in here though. Okay, so that terminal's probably going to activate that... Uh, what do they call? Protectron. I'm definitely turning that on because I want the backup. I don't feel safe. I just do not feel safe. New shipment details. Shipment B5A1 is en route. To ensure we provide the best product for our customers, all employees must use the correct thawing temperatures, temperature settings for our brand new lineup of meat products. This is because of our new recipe and meaty formula. Have fun and remember, stay, stay beefy beef eaters. Oh, stay beefy beef eaters. Okay, that's a weird thing to sign off with, but right, okay. Um, now, protection control. Absolutely turn on. Activate. 
Okay, now I feel a little safer, unless it starts attacking me, which I really hope it's not going to do. Friendly. No, that's good. Hmm, there's a few things in here, but it's all junk. There's no way I'm touching that burger. Still friendly? Okay, good, still friendly. I don't have much trust at the moment, <laughs> just in case you couldn't tell. Brahmin meat, I can cook that. Gin, good for carry rate. Carry weight. Oh my god, I did it again. Carry rate. Carry weight. With a W. Mushy peas. Ugh. I don't like mushy peas myself. Not a fan. Is there anything I can cook here? Ooh, lost my voice a second there. Anything I can cook? Yes, there is. Baked bloat fly. Anything else? Yeah, I thought I'd be able to cook some ladybird meat. I did collect a fair amount of it just now. Mutt chops. Great. Ribeye steak. Lovely. Okay. Quite a nice feast. Um, bubble gum. Why not? XYZ cleaner. No. Alright, thank you. Ooh, holotape. Secret cellar entrance. Hello. Right. Behind the outhouses, there's a cluster of straw bales stacked up. Pay attention now, because there's a hatch in none of them bales. Yeah, that's right. Just push the straw aside, and you'll reveal the hatch. It's the secret entrance to our Pachin cellar. Only a few of us know about it, and we'd like to keep it that way. We got some valuable stuff in there, and we're not too keen on sharing with just anyone who stumbles upon the farm. So, use his holotape as your yeah. guide, but don't let anyone see you. If you're discreet, yeah. you'll find your way yeah. to sell us safe and safe. Okay, so he was talking about a farm. I haven't the foggiest where this farm is, though. And I'm definitely cooking some more crispy ladybird. Yeah, but where is this farm? Um, I thought it would be a secret entrance inside the diner, but apparently not. Oh, hello. We've got loads of stuff. Ah, okay. Tactical, traumatic, crude gun. Yeah, I can sell that. Where is this farm? I saw an arrow pointing that way, so I'm going to go that way. Hopefully it's not a trap. Can't get out here. I'm actually going to quick save. And let's see where we end up going this way. Oh, did I just see a red? I thought I saw a red health bar come up. Which obviously means an enemy, but no, I can't see anything. And it looks like we're getting quite close to um, our target, which is good. Grenades? What the fuck? I didn't hear an explosion. Unless it's because I wasn't looking at it. I, I set off a tripwire. Oh, uh, okay. There must have been a set of grenades dangling somewhere because I can see a tripwire here. Don't know how I missed that. Okay, it's this way apparently. Ooh, stim pack. Ooh, two stim packs. Another stim pack, three stim packs. Amazing. Ah, oh, here we are. Hello, Yvette. Oh, hello, stranger. How wonderful to meet you. Lovely day, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> okay, so clearly uh, we've got a little acting here to do. Hello, love. Lovely day indeed. How are you holding up? I'm tip top, thanks for asking. What brings you here then? Um, right, what sounds the least, uh, you know, like it's going to get attention brought to us? One of your old, f one of our old friends sent me, wanted to make sure you were right. 
Well, you should go tell your old friend that I'm fine and I don't need some fresh faced lab rat to babysit me. All right, calm now, down. Please excuse me. I'm rather busy at the moment. Mm. I'd like to help. Help with what? I don't know what you mean, stranger. Wait for it. Wait for it. And we're clear. Finally, that bloody guard moved out of earshot. We can drop the charade. Do you have any idea the amount of danger you put us in just now? Never mind. There's no time. I'm actually glad you're here. I was just about to sneak into where they're holding Uma and try and break her out. But it's a suicide mission without a proper distraction. Okay. Um, what kind of distraction are we talking about? I don't know. The kind where all the guards are paying attention to you and not me and the prisoner sneaking out the back door. Use your imagination. I think I can do that. Sounds good. Bye. Okay, but first I want to uh, loot this. Actually, wait a minute. Was it just pointing at it? Why am I under attack? Oh! This is a dormant post boxer. What the fuck is that? It can be utilised in the plan to distract the guards. Rewire the post boxer to be hostile to the Isle of Dog Syndicate. Okay, I don't know how a post box is actually going to be hostile, but it sounds helpful because for some reason now under attack. Jesus Christ! Oh, brilliant, it's doing the job for me. Oh god, they're going after Sid. Or Sid Yvette. Oops, that is not Sid. Fuck off. How did you just block a sword with your arm? That's not really how bladed articles work. Oh, hello. Okay, I may be about to die. Um, I definitely need to heal. Much chops. I'll have them. Okay, I think that might be over. I see some more enemies over here. I'm still in danger, apparently. I don't know where they are, though. Are they on this boat thing? Oh, caution, whenever they're not bothering me. Okay, let me just loot all these people. Shotgun. Yes, please. Pinstripe suit. Okay, that was worth 32. That's quite good. Interesting. Oh, official report. DLR line vandalism case. Millwall Police Station. Official report. Internment of suspects in DLR line vandalism case. In a resolute response to recent acts of vandalism wreaking havoc on the smooth function of the southbound Docklands Light Railway... Uh, the diligent members of the Isle of Dog Syndicate at Millwall Police Station have successfully apprehended several individuals suspected of involvement in these destructive activities. The incident, which saw disruption along the crucial transit artery stretching from One Canada Square to Lewisham Station, caused inconvenience and frustration among the syndicate relying on this vital connection. However, the swift and decisive action taken by those at the Millwall Police Station has brought hope for swift justice and restoration of public trust in the safety and reliability of our transport infrastructure. Through meticulous investigation and unwavering dedication to upholding the rule of law, our members identified and, and detained multiple vagabonds believed to be responsible for the wanton destruction inflicted upon the DLR line. Okay, but what did they do? <clears throat> How did they vandalise? These individuals, whose reckless actions jeopardised the well-being and convenience of countless commuters, are now in custody awaiting due legal process and execution. The Millwall Police Station reassures the public that every effort will be made to ensure that those accountable for this reprehensible act are held accountable to the fullest extent of the law. Our streets and public services belong to the law-abiding citizens of our community, and we remain steadfast in our mission to uphold order and security for all. For further updates on this matter and other community news, please visit One Canada Square's official channels and stay informed. Hmm. All right, then. I do question the validity of the accusations. Given that uh, they didn't actually say what they did, it does make me question what the vandalism actually was. Definitely makes me question whether it's even worth a death sentence. That seems quite, you know, extreme for vandalism. Anyway, we're done here. That is going to conclude the episode, my friends. Thank you so... Oh, hello. 
Oh, this is good. Oh, I'm keeping that. That is going to conclude the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, join the Empire, and press the bell icon to get notified of all my uploads. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a lovely day, and goodbye. <laughs>